Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. So, hope everyone is doing good and staying safe. If you have not yet subscribed to Quantity Surveying Studio, please do subscribe for more quantity surveying related videos. So, in this video, we'll be looking into a tip that can be used while doing your quantity takeoff. So, this can be used both by the civil quantity surveyors and also the MEP quantity surveyors. The main idea of this video is schedule versus plan when you get your drawings you'll be having drawings showing a schedule of different equipments it will be related to the mechanical equipments the plumbing equipments on the civil side it will be mainly a schedule of your doors windows this will be a separate document which will be included in your drawing list it will be a part of your drawing the name of the drawing will be schedule of equipments or schedule of doors or windows like that so I'll show you how a schedule looks like. So this is basically a schedule of mechanical equipments. So if you see this is for fans, you will have the tag numbers of all the fans, where it is used, what type, the different ratings. Then you have pumps, air separator. This is mainly the HVAC equipment schedule, boilers, fan coil unit, coils unit, then diffusers. This is air handling unit in each floor. What's the tag number? Fresh air handling unit, suspended air handling unit. So all the equipment will be provided in the schedule. So how do you actually read the schedule with reference to your drawing? So for example, AHU first 01, it is in the first floor. So there will be a separate drawing for your first floor, a plan of your first floor. See, this is a plan of your first floor. So the equipment schedule AHU first 01 is here. Then AHU first 02 again, the same is here. So the schedule is actually compared with the plan. Now this is again for plumbing equipments. You have booster pumps, pumps, heat exchangers. So likewise, all equipments will be provided. So hope you understood how a schedule look like and how you can actually compare your schedule with the plan so my main intention of this video is to make you understand that the schedule what is given does not need be exactly the same as what is given in the plan so normally what happens is due to strict timelines uh, the qs what they do is they just look into the schedule of equipments and then they just count the numbers from that and then they convert it into your their quantity takeoff sheet and then finally that is included into the v of q but sometimes what happens is this schedule of equipment may not be right sometimes in a project there will be different buildings so a designer what they do is again due to their time restrictions or maybe since they are busy with other works so what they do is they copy paste the same schedule of equipment to the other buildings for one building they will make and they just copy paste and put it for the other building so actually the schedule of equipment might be one and the plan will be showing some other tag numbers or the numbers sometimes the schedule of equipment will be having five numbers of ahu but your plan will be having just four so that confusion will always be there or not always sometimes will be there you so as a qs it is your duty to make sure that you compare the schedule of equipment with the plan as i had shown you earlier check the tag number in the equipment just see whether that is there in the plan or not so if there are five numbers shown that should be five numbers in the plan and if at all there are discrepancies sometimes what happens is in the schedule of equipment there will be five numbers of ahu but in the plan you will be getting only four so if something like that happens some discrepancies some differences comes you can then uh, raise a query to the client or the consultant or the designer telling that there, there is a difference between these two documents so what should be the actual quantity we are getting uh, four numbers in the plan five numbers in the schedule so in in actual scenario what is there in the plan should be the actual quantity of that building or that particular project but still this query should be raised if there are differences and as an assumption 
when you make a query list you will be putting a column for your assumptions also because sometimes you may not get a reply from the designer in time so then in the assumption list you can include that we are considering that the quantity given in the plan is the actual quantity then you can use the quantity that is actually shown in the plan and then put it in your voq so this was a small tip that i thought of giving through this video so hope you'll find it useful in your professional life and please do share it with your friends or colleagues if you found it to be useful do like this video thanks a lot for watching take care bye